this video, I want to show you the easiest way to install and run Linux Mint on a USB key with persistence. I will be only using the Linux Mint ISO image and the utility called Rufus from rufus.ie. And this is a free utility. First, you need to download Linux Mint. So open your web browser. Go to linuxmint.com and press enter. Hover over download and click Linux Mint 20. This is the latest version. It might be different when you follow this video because there might be a newer version. So click on it. And then you have your download links. I'm going to download the Cinnamon version. And here choose download link that is closest to you. Here I'm going to choose Canada University of Waterloo. And the download begins. It's not a very big download, but it will take time. It's around 2 GB as you see here. So I'm going to accelerate this video now and I'll continue when the download finishes. So now the download finished. Let's check it out in the downloads folder. So I clicked on the three dots here and I chose show in folder. And this is the download and it is finished. After the download finishes, you need to download a utility called Rufus. So open your web browser and go to rufus.ie and then scroll down until you find the download section, which is this one. So click on Rufus 3.11. Now, when you see this video, the version might be different. It might be newer. So click on whatever version there is here. And Rufus gets downloaded. Rufus is a file that will execute without installation. So it's an executable file. It doesn't need installation. So now Rufus is downloaded and the Linux Mint image is downloaded. So close your web browser and go to the downloads folder to run Rufus. So here, as you see, we have Rufus and Linux Mint. So now we need to insert first a USB key that is 16 gigabyte or more because Linux Mint is not a big operating system. So we may leave like 8 gigabyte for the operating system and 8 gigabyte for persistence if you have 16 gigabyte USB key. Here I have a USB key that is 32 gigabyte. I already inserted it. So I'm gonna give for the operating system 8 gigabyte and leave 24 gigabyte for the persistence. So let's start Rufus. Click yes if prompted when you double click Rufus. And now here the USB key got selected automatically. Be careful because USB key will be completely wiped. So make sure you're selecting the right one if you have many USB keys in your PC. And make sure of course that the USB key doesn't have any data that you want. Now click on select here to select the image. We are already in the downloads folder. Here you have to browse to the download folder or to the folder where you downloaded Linux Mint. Choose it, click open. And now you see that we have another option that appeared, which is persistent partition size. As I said, because I have a 32 gigabyte USB key, I'm gonna go all the way to 24 and this way I can leave only eight gigabyte for the operating system. And the 24 gigabyte will be for the persistent partition. Leave the partition scheme as it is and leave all the other options by default as they are. Of course, if you want to change the volume label, you can change it. I'm going to leave it as it is here and click on start. So here it's prompting you Rufus that you need a file called syslinux to be downloaded. Click on yes. And then here. This is a warning that all data will be destroyed on the USB key. So click OK. And the operation begins. So now it's clearing the MBR structure. And now it will be formatting the USB key. This is a quick format, so it will be fast. I'm going to accelerate the video and I'll come back when the operation finishes. The formatting step finished and now the copying of the ISO file begins. 
And now the operation finished. The USB key is ready to be booted from. Before putting up a laptop or a PC from this USB key, just please note that on modern laptops and PCs, you have to disable the secure boot. On older ones, this option doesn't exist. So depending on the model of your PC or laptop that you're gonna use to boot this USB on, disable the secure boot first and then boot from this USB. So now let's take the USB and try it on a laptop. When you finish preparing the USB key with Rufus, just insert it in the laptop and start your laptop. While the laptop is starting, you need to press the hot key for the boot options. This is a Dell laptop, so I pressed F12. You can look in the description for a list of popular laptops and their hot boot keys. When the laptop boots to the boot menu, make sure you choose USB storage device and press enter. And here you see that Linux Mint started. This is a startup menu of Linux Mint. So just keep it on start Linux Mint and press enter. And you see here Linux Mint is booting from the USB key. So remember this is a persistent USB key. So whatever changes you make to the operating system here, like if you create folders or if you connect to the Wi-Fi network, they will persist and they will stay even if you restart your computer. So we will not lose files. And here is Linux Mint booting. So let me bring the camera a little bit closer as you can see. And as you see here, it is started. It's not connected to the internet now. I'm gonna connect it to the Wi-Fi network. So click here to connect to the Wi-Fi network and choose your network. Put in your password and press connect. And as you see, connection is established. So now we have a connection to the internet and this is a persistent connection. So even if you restart your PC with the USB key or if you change the USB key to another laptop and you always have this connection in reach, it will reconnect. So let me show you the persistence here by creating maybe a folder or a file. Let's create a file here, create a new document, empty document. So I'm just gonna keep the name untitled document. I'm gonna open it and just key in persistent installation of Linux Mint. And let me close the file now and save it. And this is a fully operational Linux Mint now booting from the USB key. Of course, here you have always install Linux Mint you don't have to double click it because you are booting from the USB key unless you want to install it to the hard disk of the laptop. But this is not the purpose of this video. So here I'm going to show you that if I restart the system and the persistence will stay. So we're going to keep the untitled document here and the connection to the internet will stay also. So I'm going to restart the system. Now when the system restarts also because it's a USB key, you need to hit the key that will take you to the boot menu. Here, because also it is from the USB key, it will always bring you this message saying you have to remove the media. Just ignore it and press enter. And let me press F12 here. So when you have the boot menu, just also keep USB storage device and press enter and press start Linux Mint and you will see that Linux Mint kept all the changes that we made in the operating system. So this is Linux Mint started and as you saw and as I told you everything will be kept because we configured the USB key to be a persistent USB key. So here you have your document as you saw and here you have your internet connection, your Wi-Fi connection, also connected as we configured it. That was it. If you found this video to be helpful, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.